It ain't safe here. Hurry back. First step is the hardest. Time to press ahead. Yeah. That would be good. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. The freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Let's move. Zoru was right. Yep. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes? White hot step. Her lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of her. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Observe. 
here, goblins. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Watch your back. How about this? Things have stayed interesting. This does. What's going on with that room? You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous.
A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of... I can only assume you two were on the receipt of an unwelcome insertion in the ocular. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. No doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. And it looks like we're both starved for answers. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Oh. I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Have you wondered what people will say, Will, when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster? I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint, though. These tracks... Goblins?
Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. At least we got the druid to keep ourselves entertained. Show up to save the druid! I'll cut you to pieces! Kill him! healing. I 
steps at a time. I want to have a word. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. <laughs> sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. <sighs> Awake and alert. Let's try this way. Thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. It's my fault. I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again.
path lies before me. Don't give me trouble now. I can't even see a lock to pick.
Keep your distance, girl. Shall we? Something over there. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Uh. Moving ahead. Don't waste a step. Go.
I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. I have to keep going. <clears throat> as much love as I hold for Baldur's Gate, these frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. Uh, can't be serious. This is a howling wasteland. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. <sighs> I must reek of the littered slime. <sighs> sure, but... Pull up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stares in response. And oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do, I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. 
You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. I don't know any druids. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, Trussel. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul like you has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. That fellow was infected like us. Is this the mark of a true soul? I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. What? And... and just... leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. Goes an owlbear track. Its nest must be nearby. I'll be damned. A shrine to Saluna. Open up. It's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Don't touch me. Take you!
on my way. That stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owlbear cub. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now or step closer and die. Let's go.
waste. Anything of use? on everything. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarion? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Mm. You must be eager to get back, then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. You saw the grab Strange. It looks healthy. But it's... The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. Something's waiting up ahead. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. Don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic buried in the arse end of nowhere. And from a wizard, too. I should have known. The gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Boulder's Gate. A stupid thing to die for. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins chunked us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Come on. We're wasting time.
My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say for your ju just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael, very much at your service. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably, but a savior, that's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless, I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself, shop around, beg. Borrow and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. This has a harper sigil. Why were they here?
devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. lies a bag enfolded in the chicken struggling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Is gold so precious to spiders? about, more nervous than before. The spiders scatter, and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Will, what was the Blade of Frontier's toughest kill? Ah, it was a great scrap. A hungry minotaur with a hankering for human flesh. An axe-bearing mountain of fur she was. Gave me a nasty scratch. I hope you don't mind if I don't ask to see it. Thank <laughs> you. 
You spotted us. Good. It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. it's best to save our strength for a real threat. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. Well, it's no boulder's gift. At least it's some kind of civilization. I do miss the gate, though. The Elf Song Tavern, sunset over Grey Harbor. Drunk young patriarchs, naked in the fountains. Oh, civilization. I haven't seen that game in years. Missing children. Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Uncle's name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. Breathe deep and move. Moving in. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Good for you, mate. Now get out of my sight before my wall grips you a new hole. Thara's messenger. If the boss finds out I gave him our time, that's me done. Oh, right. Beg pardon. Gotta give all the visitors the old squinty eye, you know. Uh, go on in and have a drink for me, eh? Very well. Rip you. Rip you for your giblets. Got thick giblets. Well on! Good couldn't guard his nose from his fingers. Ain't fair! That quit moaning. Ain't moaning if it's true. <laughs> and the null gnawed her arm clean off. So much for the flaming fist, eh? You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Drow flinging magic. No snapping off heads. Ends nothing but a pile of ash by now. Glorious. 
Bunch of prisoners got towed to Moonrise. City snobs, mostly. But the flaming fist? Pile of smoking corpses. You ain't know the broken road? Meh. <laughs> I'll tell you real slow, like, so you don't miss it. North. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. Trust me, I will. Let's keep going. Something the matter. Wait. <laughs> it hurts. A joyous little affliction that visits me with screaming agony on occasion. I'd be lying if I told you I know what causes it. But don't worry. Can't hurt you. Only me. It's... Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that.
Seems simple enough. Hell's fire. She's coming. And you know what happens when you're naughty. Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. Now, too late, Flower. You'll never be rid of me. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. have you done the promise broken a price paid you know the terms get used to the new form pet there's no going back some magic even I can't undo now let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade keep an eye on him will you I'll be keeping mine on you and will don't forget our pact still stands ta-ta
Here goes nothing. Best be on my way. Horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. Saluna is a bad omen. Just look what's befallen her temple. Though, I'll grant it must have been impressive once, in all its profane glory. I wonder what happened. No matter. I'll breathe easier once we're clear of this place. We don't have time for this. Besides, I already explained myself. You're not going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the Mistress of the Night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. A Shah worshipper? Not my usual quarry, nor my usual ally. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Gladly. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Souls. Those types don't even bother to wait. Well, I didn't say that. But you'll need to be more specific, mate. Absolutes blessed us with free. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? Do you now? Might feel different once she puts a burning brand to you. She's through the main doors. Just follow the smell of burnt goblin arse. <laughs> the 
bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got pawned. Oh, vile yeah, idolatry. Yeah, Makes my stomach turn. Do you feel her inside? For once, the goblin's decorations are an improvement. For you, priestess. That's because she chose me. You're not worthy yet. And the one thing I learned down there is don't marry your own We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not dead any around you. Get down there and stop complaining! Sugar and I'll shoot cock, or touch your cake door! I command you, corpse. Speak! Reveal truth to the absolute! Alderaan's bones. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Sugar and Sukuk. This is the big boss. Strike him down. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul... He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. <laughs> this Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death. But not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. You choke on black smoke as the whole goblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call Dek Shulko Hank! The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. Who is the Absolute? Raxlin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute.
absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Raxlin's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. What did the killer want? Ragslin's mind is clouded by doubt. Surprised once more by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Givyanki dragon riders. Silver blades held high. Control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Give them a hunt. They know something. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Who killed you, freak? Another vision consumes you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh. Only darkness. That can't be! Wait! Hold on! Ragslin pierces your mind, prodding the truth. You... you're no true soul. No 